The Dozen, match 66, presented by Pink Whitney. That's right, presented by Pink Whitney. We have a live studio audience tonight. The studio audience, they're all taking home Pink Whitney. Woo! You get a Pink Whitney, and you get a Pink Whitney. Who's in the studio audience? Pink Whitney bottles underneath their seats. They'll be in here cheering and booing you as you give out bad answers. All right. Um, Shout out to these boys, these lads. Shout out to the 13 Yule lads of Iceland. Big shout out to the 13 Yule lads of Iceland. Shout out. They leave uh, – what was it, Jeff? They leave fecal matter in your home if you don't put out butter for them? Yeah, if you don't – no, that's the, the the Hungarian Santa will poop in your shoes if you leave them unpolished. So, yeah. Pink uh, Whitney, big thank you to Pink Whitney for sponsoring this episode and these last couple matches. Uh, it's delicious. What more can you say? It's delicious stuff. Uh, teamed goes, up with New Amsterdam, number one trivia team, the Chicklets guys. So. Goes great with iced tea. Goes great with – Pink Whitney, great with anything in any orifice. That's what they say. Yes. Um, all right. Let's let's just we gotta say what we have to say here. Team ZD, you're back. Team ZD, you're all in six. Is it six? Or five? <laughs> Eddie right. Eddie. That's the that caught KB it's Definitely basketball. not six. It's definitely not six. I, it is oh and six. six. Uh I think that includes Eddie's loss as well. It's tough. It's tough. You haven't won. You've always come really close, but something something gets you early on. Again, I'm rooting for you guys. Is there I'm wrestling today? Stop. Is there wrestling? Here we go. As always, 12 rounds of trivia, 24 questions. You get a doubler. Oh you got to use your doubler by the end of the game. If you don't, round 12 is doubled. You have a phone or FaceTime a friend. Use it wisely. And don't save it necessarily. Not always a Not always the best thing to do. Here we go. Please, Jeff, we save it. Save it. Why don't we 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 just go for it one time and use it in the first round? Without even knowing what the first round is? First round is Major League Baseball. Nope, no double. (laughs) Major League Baseball is round one. Maybe it isn't. uh, I've been doing a lot of the round ones. Choose the player. That's not today. It's a regular question. 30 seconds on the clock. Brandon and PFT. This World Series champion from the NL managed the Cleveland Indians in between Mike Hargrove and Eric Wedge. It's national Senior. It's the national Bushi. It's not Bushi, seconds. is it? What's his name? Bochi? Bochi? It's not Bochi? I don't think so. I don't think so. Mushu for a second, like from Jim Leland. Uh, no, no, no. Um, Five, four, three, two. Where's Bochi? One. The name that's too easy is Francona. It's not Francona. Okay, yeah, no. I, the only, I can't think of anybody else who managed Cleveland. I I was thinking if it was a player who then became a manager, so I'm trying to figure that. I don't know if it's if he's a manager now. So I, I got nothing right now. Um, did, did, uh, did Robin Ventura ever have a job? I know it was with the White Sox. Yeah, he was with the Two. Sandy One. Alomar Jr. Climb the final answer guy. That's incorrect. It was Charlie Manuel. Charlie ah. Manuel. Ah, oh, Philly. Had no uh, idea. Brown really? Hand. Yeah. Okay. I actually thought that was actually. Kind I of can't remember part. right now that he managed the Indians, but that's that's just. Yeah, I have no recollection. My my brain smoothed that one out. Other side. This three-time manager of the year led the Texas Rangers in the four years prior to Ron Washington's stint. Three-time manager of the year. My guess, uh, you you guys can talk it through. I have a guess. I just don't want to say it unless it's um, unless we talk through anything else or whatever. I don't want to have it hanging out there for the boys. I think I know who you're thinking of. I, I just think of Ron fucking Washington. Ha, ha, has a he has a, a presence here, right? Mm, no, I'm thinking Four. of a different guy. All right, can I make my answer? Yeah. yeah go for it. Buckshaw Walter. Buckshaw Walter. Final answer. That is correct. It's Buckshaw Walter. Call. One to nothing. Team yeah. ZD. I thought it was right. Pinelli. Crowd going crazy for Team ZD. Clem, I thought it was Pinelli. Is this, is this the pro ZD crowd that we're dealing with here, Jeff? I, I need to know if we're at home or they, they're, they're eating ZD. They have their ZD merch yes. on. Yes. Uh, next category is celebrity mashup. Celebrity mashup. Brandon and PFT. Name 
Name the two celebrities in this photo. Also, I'm just going to say it's we're not doing internet celebrities. It's not Darren Ravel. Okay. These are I, I all the answers ask. are Hollywood people. I was going to ask about Darren. I, I know the outside. I think. I don't think he'd use an athlete, but it looks like Roger Federer. I just said Ooh. they're all from Hollywood. Okay, all from right. Hollywood. Yeah, you're right, Roger. <laughs> not Roger Federer. I think I'm like 90% sure on the outside. That's the Darren Ravel proof. I had to make it Ravel proof. It's not like Carl Malden's nose, is it? He's dead. That's a big oh, nose. Who's Carl Malden? Never mind. It's definitely not his nose. Ten seconds. Damn it. I know the outside. Is that a woman on the inside? It's not, right? No. Five. Four. No, because of three. Hair. Two. I'm going to pass. I don't want to give him the outside. 15 seconds, Team ZD to go up two to nothing. The middle looks like Ivan Ooze. Who's that? Who's that? <laughs> I don't have the slightest clue. Go with what you got. Climb already. I got. I was hoping PFT was going to give us the outside. No, yeah, that was my strategy. Won't do Five. it. Can't do it. Darren Four. Ravel and Eddie, <laughs> guess whatever you want. Uh, uh, who's the guy from Step Brothers? I had to. You ran out of time. Clem, I have to remember that. That Richard is Spider Man right? Andrew Garfield oh. and Richard oh. Gere. Oh, oh, shit. Shit. I would never have guessed Andrew, Andrew Gar. He was president, wasn't he? Yes. <laughs> Got shot. The Richard. The Richard Gear rumors, they made it all across where we all grew up, right? It wasn't just a New York thing. Oh, oh yeah, Gear. Butt guy. Yeah. 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 Rumor, well, I thought they were accepted. Fact. Allegedly. Yeah. What did he do? It was allegedly, allegedly a fact. fact. He, would, he would put gerbils inside his asshole. Oh, wow. For sport and pleasure. <laughs> One to nothing, ZD. Here's your celebrity mashup. And the two celebrities in this photo. Oh, my God. We get some scary ones. And right, I got the inside. It doesn't look unlike Jeff Vibbert. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think I got the inside. Maybe. I have a guess. I don't think it's right, though. Is it a guy and a girl? Yeah. That's yeah, I got the inside, too. Uh, the outside. I think I the inside. Buck, the outsides. Um, I have to count you down. Need an answer well, in. Let's not give it away at the inside. Just hold it. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck. Wow. Well, the inside, Sarah Jessica Parker, Sarah, right? Yes. The outside, I would say, like either maybe Christoph Waltz or Kiefer at Sutherland. Do you? I don't know who Christoph Waltz is. He's a guy from Inglorious Bastards. Five. Can we zoom in one more time, Jeff? No, nope. call. Three. You call. Uh, two. Sir Jessica Parker and Kiefer Sutherland. Final answer. That is not Billy Sting, is it? Bob oh, Thornton. Oh. Ooh. SJP oh, was easy. Damn. <clears throat> Next category is mixed martial arts. These are oh. courtesy of Robbie Fox tonight. Oh, Robbie. Of Robbie Fox. Hey, you're an MMA guy, right? Nah, but kind of. Yeah, yeah. Eddie Eddie knows. I'm a not a nothing guy. Eddie, get your tap out shirts. Flex on them. <laughs> that was a really complaint. Uh, here it is. We're not complaining. Who holds the record for the fastest submission in UFC title fight history? Mm. I don't watch it. I'm, we'll try to think of like some, some wrestlers. Uh I mean, Brock Lesnar wouldn't be a bad guess. I don't cheat. I'm not going to take that. Brandon, answer. focus. Uh, you do have somebody in the room with you, Brandon, who you could use as your phone a friend. So I can't call Robbie Fox is what you're saying. He just got the answer from him. No, he didn't. He No, he did not. Well, I said I, I would not I take the answer. Say, yeah. Are we saying but that? We, you can ask. You can ask the person in the room. That's allowed on, on I would, the dozen. I would, say, either, I would okay. say either Forrest Griffin, Brock Lesnar. But you can't call Robbie Fox. Um, can't call Robbie Fox. Need an answer in. Friend, can do you want to ask the person in the room? Five, no, I don't trust four, him that much. Three, two. Let's go Brock Lesnar, final answer. One. 
Incorrect. It's Jack Mac, by the way. They just did their podcast. Uh, other side, do you know the answer? LA. George St. Pierre's, my guess. I I don't know. It's not, it's a it's a total guess. Brick, are you cool answer? That? Yeah, what are you kidding me? Yeah, yeah, GSP. <laughs> Incorrect. It's Ronda Rousey, 14 Whoa. seconds. Ah. Did did your did your potential phone a friend know it? He did. That's tough. Good good job, Brandon. Everyone give a little boo to Brandon. How many people are in the studio? And we have like 10 people in here. It's crazy. That's quite a crowd. Uh, other side, MMA, one to nothing. Who holds the record for most wins in UFC title fight history? Uh, most wins. Hmm. I got one guess, Eddie. I have one guess, and I don't think it's right. But I don't, I don't, I don't hate staying with GSP. He's one of the goats. Uh, <laughs> you want to just fucking ride it out with GSP? Kinda, because if if it's if it is him, then we'll be like, the whole point is not to kick ourselves at the end here. The guy, yeah, yeah. the guy I'm thinking of had an entourage cameo. That's all I'm gonna say. Oh. Maybe answer in five. Do you want that one? No, I'm just saying. Three. <laughs> Fucking GSP. Two. We're rolling GSP. with GSP. All right. Uh, Ken Shamrock fought for forever. I don't know how many title fights he had, but I just know he fought for like 30 years. Friend. I can't do a phone a friend. friend. Only. Nope. I'm telling him. Okay. So we've got that. I know that. Um, Who's the guy I saw fight this year has fought like uh, nine times? Nate Diaz? No. Maybe. Two. One. Uh, Anderson Silva. I, I took Nate Diaz. Team. That's incorrect. So is Anderson Silva. Oh, so is Anderson Silva. There you go. Bryce Gracie. John Jones. Uh, oh, bone man. But none of those counted because he was all doped up on the hot balls. Yellow Robbie Fox then. Though he's not Dana White. So yeah. not the same thing. Here we go. Next category. One that very low. Well, if you were interesting, maybe we would get you on trivia. I know. I wish. Yeah, I wish he would have me on. This After is the first quarter. All the uh, the old Brandon Walker doesn't. Supermarket as sweep. As well. Supermarket yeah, sweep is the next ooh, category. Clum, we want to do it. Are we doing it? Do it, Clum. We got really to. double it. They're going to double. They're going to double this round. Supermarket sweep. We're two points for Team ZD. This is huge. This is huge. Brandon well, is and this- is worth one point. What is the name of this product? 30 seconds. Uh, that is um, like, po- like the popcorn. It's uh, right. It says kettle corn on the front. What is it called? Pop. It's not the naked pop. The flavor. Pop naked. Yeah, but we know it's popcorn because it says kettle corn on it. It's a product. It's popcorn. Right. Uh, <laughs> Can you zoom in, Jeff? Is it naked pop or no, skinny, skinny pop? It, skinny? Skinny pop. Skinny pop. I think it's skinny pop. Skinny pop. Yep. Skinny pop. Final answer, Jeff. Well, Other side. Smart it's got three pop. names, right? It's got three it's names. Chicka pop. Papa chick. It's something like that. It's oh. chicka. I can't think of the name of it. I, I, every time I see it, I go, it's a good fucking name because it's fucking fun to say. It is. Uh, fuck, they have it at Costco for like $2 when it's on sale. It's incredible. Chicka wow pop. pop. Chicka boom. <laughs> Need an answer from Clem in five. Three. Two. Chicka pop. Chicka pop. It's not chicka pop. That's it's tough. Boom. You're yeah, off. Man. It's boom chicka pop. Yeah. That is oh, right. Chicka pop. I knew it was three words. Damn. That was not worth two points. So this one is worth two points. It is what is the name thing. of this product? For two points. Give me something we know. What? These, I believe, are snaps. I've had them. Cheese it snaps. I've had them once. Cheese it is a great cracker, but they're they're offshoots. They don't hit. I mean, cheese is so good, it's hard to match that again. I know Ritz does a different adjective. That's what I was thinking. It is. If you like snaps, we'll go with snaps. Yeah, yeah. There's a few different ones. I don't know if this is the one that's a snaps, but I'm gonna say snaps. Final answer. Final answer. Ah, I think Brandon. I think it's snapped. I yeah, I think snap is in it. I snapped. Yeah, I think it's snapped. Go with snapped. Snapped, Jeff. 
That is correct. It's snapped, not snapped. Oh, I thought God. I was with a Z, too. I knew there was something wrong about that last letter. Yeah. I knew there was something fucking Clem, wrong. I thought so, too. I was actually thinking, like, is it a Z? Is it apostrophe Z? Oh. Is it a backwards Z? Because God, the X? crowd here. I thought it was more extreme than they, that. The crowd gave me a look. They heard it when they said snaps. Oh, that's a – oh, my God. That's how it works for Zeke. Oh, that's, I've that's never two. seen that. That's one to one shot. after four no, 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 no. Uh, Oh, that's right. It was two. Oh, even more tragic. Respectfully. We are the fucking Chargers. Go. We find a way to <laughs> Special teams every goddamn day. BFD, I swear to God, I mean, I'll a timeout after that one. Uh, you, were, you were letters <laughs> away from being up what? four to nothing, but it's now two to one. Still anyone's game. Remember Next Clem. category is the lightning round presented by Pink Whitney. Lightning round oh, presented man. by Pink Whitney. Delicious, delicious beverage. This is Philip Pinguini. Here we go. Television is the category. You're going to see three posters. Okay. You need to tell me which poster matches up with which network. ABC, CBS, or NBC. You will tell me the TV show, what it matches up with in order. Okay. In order of what you see on the poster. Okay. Brandon, I write that down, 30 Jeff? seconds. Remember, other side, if the team misses it, you only have five seconds to discuss and then five seconds to give a final answer. That's the beauty of the lightning round. ABC, NBC, CBS? ABC, CBS, NBC. I'm always right, saying it that way because that's down. alphabetical. All right, I got it. Here we go. Brandon and PFT, here are your three TV shows. Yes, there is uh, CBS, Superstores, NBC, and Commander-in-Chief is ABC. Let's it goes, go. It goes, what? Yeah. It goes yeah. NBC, CBS, ABC. Final answer. You're confident enough for a final answer. Oh, he said we have to make because Brandon got it. Rico. Essentially confirms it. That is correct. <laughs> three to one. Motherfucker. Well, my wife's Other watching. Side, said, here are your three shows. Fucking Brandon what? got it. What, Rico? My wife said, why you mad? I said, because Brandon oh. fucking got it. Mm -hmm. She already knew. Here we go. Here are your three shows. Uh... <laughs> I think I got this one, Brandon. Oh, I got it. Mm -hmm. Can I say it? You can, but I got it. Okay. You guys got anything coming? Yeah. Anything yeah, I know the I know the middle. It's between the the, the end the other the ends. What's the middle? <sighs> the middle's a thousand percent NBC. That's the easy one. Great pants okay. for Paul Reiser. Okay. I, I think like... All right, you go. Go, go ahead, go. Clem. No. no, no you... I, I feel like Boston Legal. I feel like it was ABC, not CBS. Yeah, go, then, then, then we're on the we're on the same boat. Go with it. Because yep. the big fat guy. He gets a different deal at CBS. It's the same yep. thing. Yep. So we're going, you, mean, you mean Bob NBC. from Bob Hart's Abishola. ABC, NBC, CBS. That's our final answer. That is correct. ABC. Oh, Brandon. That was making me fuck. There we go. Oh. Right. ZD, ZD boys. Right. Hey. Yeah. Yeah. Good call on the big guy. That was a good call. That's Bob Abishola. That's how uh, network next category deals. That's is how actually, you go. You get in with a network. You start with Pick'em, and friends. they give you a college basketball podcast. That's how it works. The man who made these next questions right mm -hmm. here, KB. This is Athlete Name oh. Puzzle. Okay. Athlete Name Confident Puzzle. We'll get two uh, right answers. Yeah. MLB, Major League Baseball. You're looking for a baseball player. Could be past, could be present, could be dead, could be alive. All I'm going to say is MLB. You will have 45 seconds on the clock to answer this. Okay. Brandon and PFT, you are up first. Up three to two. Decode this athlete name puzzle. Okay. Who is be that? Be he's be it's Rome, Jim Rome begging. Jer Beg Rome. Rome. And then. Could be Jim. Uh, Port portrait. Art. Uh, so there's Tina's. T Tina's. Yeah, it's Tina. Artinas. Artinas. So it's Mar Martinez. Something Martinez. Rome Martinez. Rome Mar uh, Ro Martinez. Pedro Martinez. Pedro Martinez. Pedro Martinez. Pedro Martinez. That is correct. That's paid Rome Martinez. <laughs> KB, that was a good one. Thank Respect. You boys. Good job. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Other side. Other side. Here we go. Here's your uh, athlete name puzzle. Baseball. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Meredith Gum Ducks. Meredith uh, Five Ducks. Gray, one. Gray. Is she Gray? Gray is Gum. She, is she wearing a nurse outfit? Grigley. Uh, Grigley. Ray. 
Ray Gregly. Nurse. What about nurse? Nurse. nurse. Gum plus five ducks. Five ducks. Ducks. Ducks on the pond. Uh, duck, duck, duck plus duck plus duck plus duck plus duck. Five ducks. Multiple ducks. Nurse gum. Uh, pile gum ducks. Fifteen seconds. <laughs> nurse, I got nurse gum ducks. <laughs> ducks, ducks, gum ducks. Gum. Yeah, duck. Take it away in a second. Gum, Gonna need a guess. Clem in. Gum ducky. Five. Gum. Gum duck, gu- so, uh, something. Blue Gary, Blue Final answer. I don't fucking know. I don't know how it I don't know how it works, but it's Greg Maddox, right? Uh, so it's Greg Mad Duck. Add duck add, uh, they're Mad Ducks. They're five ducks. Well, that's Add, too. Add so, Ducks. Yeah. Something. Greg. I don't know how it works, but it's Greg, Greg Maddox. Greg um, Maddox. Greg. Your final Greg, answer? Greg, like, yeah. Greg Maddox. Yep. That is gray gum add ducks. Greg Maddox. That is correct. Rico is saying duck plus duck plus duck, too. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Usually, if there's a certain number of things, your mind goes directly to the counter. Next thing we got, you guys are down five to two, is the bonus round. Greg Maddox, by the way, uh, big butt guy. Loves butt pranks like used to wipe john maddox's undershirts in his butt and then hang it back up in the locker john bonus john round presented Smoltz. by pink whitney time to make the donut Whoa, time to make the donut and it's shaking big time bonus round time thank you again to pink whitney for sponsoring this episode delicious it's so pink in this lighting too it looks Fantastic. Yeah, it's, it's pink out of the lighting. That's that's the crazy Beauty part about it. It's pink it's in lighting or out. Always pink. So theme pink. tonight will be Christmas. There are no repeats on this bonus round. Your question will be tonight. Ten seconds per team. Clem, your final answer guy. PFT, your final answer guy. Okay. The last thing either of you say before that buzzer hits. Will be your answer. Whoever has the most after five rounds wins the two points. Here's the question tonight. According to Spotify, name the top 24 Christmas songs. Eddie, you fucking better win this, bro. All right, Mariah, <laughs> right? well, Mariah Carey, all I want for Christmas is you. All I need are titles, by the way, but uh, that does help. Do the one Chief picked. Christmas by Darlene Love. Christmas by Darlene Love. White Christmas? <laughs> White Christmas, yep. <laughs> that was a white Christmas. That was a crazy pick. Santa Claus is coming to town. Motherfucker. We let off with a chief. Clem, is that what you're going with? Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. It's a great song. Uh, you know, hey, wait, wait, real quick. Jeff, are there two different versions of Santa Claus? Is that a specific one that you put up there? It, it's, if it's on there, it's off the list. All okay, right. so how about how about Santa Baby? Jingle Bell Rock? Why would you say another one? <laughs> I already said it. Santa Baby. Incorrect. Oh, oh, okay. I told you. Jingle Bell Rock. Clem, what do we think? Yeah. No. Jingle Bell Rock. Yeah, all right, all right, all right. All right. We're tied up. Jingle Bell Rock. <laughs> I said it twice because it was right. <laughs> all right. How about. God uh, damn it. Shut up, Brynn. Calm the fuck down. Frosty the Snowman. What do you think about that, Brandon? Five. Where you said Frosty the Snowman. That's what I said. Oh. Uh, Clem, what do we uh, think about this one? Clem. I, I don't last know because that one just got a. Uh, what do you think about but, last I mean, Christmas? Last Christmas? I don't know. I, no, you know who's this? Four. <sighs> go with it, Eddie. Go with it. Go with it. I don't know. La- Fuck. Clem. Last Christmas. Last Christmas. Last Christmas. Oof. Okay, what, what about that annoying Beatles song? Need this? No, think classic Christmas. Think Bing Crosby. Like, think Burl Ives. I got one. Nope. Holly got Jolly one. Christmas. Holly Jolly Christmas. If you get this, you win the two points and make it a five to four game. All right, this, is, this is all I'm gonna say. Spotify's for the kids. and sync. Home run. No. A lot of playlists. Have yourself what was, a merry little Christmas. Was, 
What was one of the songs that got drafted by two different people in your draft? Two. Was... two. Clem. Clem. I can't hear. Have yourself a Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, I, I happy mean, holidays. Mean, yes, we did. Merry Christmas, happy holidays. All right, PFT. All right, I'm, you got it. You got to give an answer by the buzzer. You and the, the crowd, all Team ZD did agree. You did not give an answer by the buzzer. Here we go. Let me reset the board. Sudden oh, death. We, we don't know. Know. Let uh, the feed the world. Let them know it's Christmas time. We the world. Do they know it's Christmas? Do they know it's Christmas? Final answer for the tie. You want to go with the Rico? Merry Christmas, yeah, Happy Holidays. Yeah, I think I think so. If I'm wrong, yeah. I'm, I apologize. But yeah, it's, that would have been our guess anyway. Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, in sync. Yes. You got lucky, PFT. You got lucky, Brandon. You got lucky because that I gave you that last one. Christmas, Christmas, Christmas lights by Coldplay, the Christmas song. I'm driving home for I, Christmas. I, I Feliz Navidad. Off. Happy Christmas. The war is over. <laughs> Have yourself a merry little Christmas. It's beginning Thanks, to look man. a lot like Christmas. Mm -hmm. It's the most wonderful time of the year. Let it snow. Merry Christmas, everyone. Mistletoe, rocking around the Christmas tree. Santa, tell me. Sleigh ride underneath the Christmas tree. I would have guessed it. Well, it's wonderful Christmas, Christmas time. Fucking Bieber's another fucking... That was my next one. Bieber's another I, I fucking say, animal. Let it snow might not be a Christmas song. It's a winter song. That should have been on there. Merry Christmas. Oh, man. Us getting a no answer at the end there to win is just... Seven. The well, well, the answer wasn't on there, to be fair. So. Yeah, it wouldn't matter. Seven. We might have a chance. Okay, you're right. Seven to two. That was a game changer. Here we go. Next. Oh, Here we go. Next. Oh, that, that's... What Can the fuck little, is like, like, Santa oh, telling me? Dri driving home for Christmas. What does Santa tell me? There's the Christmas song is on there. Here we go. The, you guys did miss a couple wonderful, fucking wonderful, wonderful Christmas time was the one I was trying to think of, Brandon. Please not be done. Brandon and PFG, you're going to double college football. We're not. Okay, here's your question. 30 seconds on the clock. I think wrestling might be coming up, PFT. From 2006 to 2010, this former Boise State head coach led Colorado. To a pretty poor record. Would that be uh, Larry Eustachy? I don't know why that name's jumping out to me. Uh, well, it shouldn't because he's a college basketball He's a basketball, basketball coach. Okay, yeah, yeah. So, so there's another guy, Rick, <laughs> Rick, 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 Rick Neuheisel. Rick did he coach Boise State? So those two had like scandals around the same time, which is why I kind of associate That's them right. together. I don't think it's Neuheisel, but I don't have another one. Fuck. I don't have this guy. Rick okay. Newhide, the final answer. Biko Roscoe, what do we have? I'm still mad about the music. Uh, I don't fuck. I mean, know. Peter Peterson was there forever. Uh, I don't know who they had before that. I honestly, I can't even fathom a guess. Um, I have no. I literally have no idea. Larry. Larry Stacy, final answer. <laughs> That would be Dan Hawkins. Ah, Dan, no Dan Hawkins. Sounds, sounds like a very fucking good Boise State, and then he sucked ass for Colorado. Sounds, sounds like an author. author. Sounds I think like his an kid author. Kids played quarterback too. Sounds like an author. Dan Hawkins. That's a good point. Uh, the crowd loved it. Other side to make it seven to three. From 2006, from 2006, his coach held his only head coaching job as the leader of the North Carolina State. <laughs> what the fuck kind of shit's going on with this question, Jeff? All right. Listen, Rico, I'm going to set you up for this. This coach here, he coached Phillip Rivers. Tell me who his name is. I don't know. That's all I can tell you. I know Phillip Rivers is there. Point. Just think of Phillip Rivers. Who are you talking to on the sideline? <sighs> I mean, this is a game changer. What do we think about doing a phone a friend? That's fine with me. Do you know who would know it? Do you know what? You Philip Rivers' number? No. Uh, I could pull up Katie's phone number from my email address. Is she from North Carolina? Yeah, You're she gonna went. Stalk Katie? Uh, that's a Did, yeah. She. You're wait, hack way into Katie's phone number. Quick, is an NC State guy, isn't he? Oh, he is. Does he, would he know this? I mean, that's not yeah, too Yeah, yeah. Quick, do you have his number? I don't have his number, though, no. Brandon, I know it. You got to decide oh. in. Jeff, how do we get Quig's number? Brandon, my, face, my face right now is giving you a clue. Let me see if I got Five, it. Five, four. Nicole Katie? Two. No, uh, wait, I don't one. I mean, you got to give me something, guys. All right, let me call Katie. No. 
You don't have your number. You don't have either number. Yes, I do. It's in email. All right, we gotta go. You gotta call. Come on, you gotta, you gotta. You're stretching the All rules. Right, hold on, on here. Here we go. Here we go, Katie. You're looking at um, the email right now. They're gonna I call. He better hope he has. If he has it in his phone somehow, some way, he can call. She her call. I hope she she ghosts you. Does she have your number? No. Oh, <laughs> that's a problem. <laughs> this is a problem. Spam. <laughs> Mark this spam. Please answer. Team ZD. Fucking shit. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like Clem seeing this angry, though. <laughs> Clem's, Clem's turned around and... <laughs> First Christmas ever. <laughs> it's tough, man. Is the phone ringing? Right, yeah, are we done here? <laughs> Rico's texting her and telling her oh, that's yeah, me. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, I hear I hear voicemail. You guys oh, no. gotta give your answer in ten seconds. I don't know. I don't know. I don't, know. I don't even want to one. My, uh, Jim Quiggs. Jim Quiggs. Jim Quiggs. <laughs> Jim Quiggs is dad. Jim Quiggs. <laughs> Chuck Amato. Chuck Amato. I said it first. One of the coolest looking head coaches uh, of all time, Chuck Amato. Yeah. That is correct. All that Wore work. And they got it. Not even trying. He used to wear the white rimmed Oakleys. He's oh. a terrible head coach. <laughs> he was. He was. Club Lux. Yeah. <laughs> KB's known him for years. Uh, next category is world history. World history. Brandon and PFT up eight to two. This sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Which two were not alive at the same time as the Ottoman Empire? Genghis Khan, Marco Polo, Paul Pot, Charlie Chaplin. That's not the Britain's Got Talent contestant. Okay. Uh, I, mean, uh, I would say Paul Pot and Charlie Chaplin, right? Or no, Ottoman Empire Ottoman ended Ottoman late, think, isn't it? Yeah, it ended late. So it's not Genghis Khan and Marco Polo. Khan and Marco Polo were not alive because Ottoman Empire ended in like the 19 teens, something yeah, like that. It lasted a while, but but I think it's Genghis Khan and Marco Polo. Do you think he'd make it that easy, though? I don't know. He does trivia for idiots. I mean, sometimes we got these, sometimes we don't. <laughs> I feel like... But you're overthinking it. <sighs> I feel like you're overthinking it. I think it's Genghis Khan and Marco Polo. Five. Four. Genghis Khan and Marco Polo, final answer. God damn it, PFT. Wow. Shut the fuck up, Brandon. I know exactly wow. who it is. You talked me out of it. <laughs> I'm going to text you, Brandon. I'm going to text I, I'm not cheating. Wait. I'm texting Brandon. When was the Ottoman Empire? Like the 1800s? I mean, it, I think it fell after um, World War One. Charlie oh, Chaplin was in – Charlie Chaplin was in movies in the 30s. It's definitely Charlie Chaplin. Not alive. Who would not alive? Charlie Chaplin well, is an definitely an need an answer Paul, in. Paul Five, Pot is – Four, Clem. Give, it, give me your answer, Rico. I'll Paul relay. Pot and Charlie Paul Chaplin. Pot and Charlie Chaplin. I don't think that's right. Paul Pot and Genghis Khan. Khan and Paul Pot. Yeah. You're going to look at your phone and tell, you, tell the audience I just texted you? I you said of a bit. Bill Rock twice. I said Jingle Bell Rock twice. And Brandon, you're up eight to two. You're up eight to two. One to two points. All right, other side. How are you going to put three to be a vegetable? Which two were not alive at the same time as the Tudor dynasty? Vlad the Impaler, Galileo, Nostradamus, Joan of Arc. It's a TV show, Joan of Arcadia. Yeah, I don't know that. If you asked me or now, I would have believed you. If you said the Tudor dynasty is still going on, I'd say, yeah, they are. I don't know what the fuck this is. I thought Elizabeth was a Tudor. Queen Queen Elizabeth. I mean, who the fuck knows? Hmm. Vlad? <laughs> Fair question, Eddie. <laughs> Tudor Dynasty sounds like a great sitcom about like after school help. <laughs> I don't hate Vlad or Galileo. Were those names around back then? Yeah, he's what? right. <laughs> That's exactly what Tudor Dynasty was. <laughs> no, Tudor, you know when the Tudor Dynasty was? Yeah. What? I mean, just chit chat, just chit chat, not asking, just chit chat. Five, yeah, just conversation. Four, pick two, Clem, pick two. Joan of Arc, Vlad the Impaler. We're going the outside, the bread of this sandwich. Right here. Right. 
Gives you some encouragement. Let's go. All right. How many points are on the board? Six. You have no, there's more than enough there's because a lot you, of points left because we oh, didn't get did, ours. They have their doubler still. So we there didn't are get points. Ours, so you guys, yeah. Next category is college basketball. College basketball. We fucking have to get this. You're going to All see right, a blank it. region. You're going to tell me the team that made the final four. A little twist. Ooh. I did not give you the first round winners this time. Brandon, do you have I did big not money? give big you the winner on campus number? <laughs> That's fucked. Yeah, but you have to state. You know what? I'm not going to say it. It's Christmas. <laughs> it's Christmas. You've been saying all the time. 30 seconds. All right. You, you talk to him like you pick you up made the final points. four from this bracket. <laughs> uh, Kansas Lehigh. Ohio State. State. Everybody relax. Huh. I think I might know, but. Um, I think I know. What are you thinking? I think it's Georgetown. Yeah, that's where I was at too. But we could call Jake and confirm. How are you going to show that? Like, you going to go through all the sixteen? I'll I'll go on Facetime. I'll show him on Facetime. If you would like to do it, do it. Let's do it. Let's get Jake you're gonna, involved. You're going to Facetime Jake Marsh. Yeah. yeah. We think it's Georgetown for the record. Both. I think it's Georgetown. okay. Okay. Face I think we're going to beat Ohio State to go to the Final Four. I think th that was. Um, 2000. Wait, I think I'm wrong. Uh oh, all right. Hey, Jake, uh, uh, Jeff, can you make it bigger? Yeah, once he's on. Oh wow, hard ass. I gotta see it. I want the I want the viewers to see our contestants. Hey, Jake, you got the call. Um, Thirty seconds. We're doing a bracket right now. Show okay? it to him. Flip it to you. Which one of these teams made the Final Four? So Kansas, Lehigh, Northern Iowa, UNLV. Can you read it okay? Faster. Yeah. Okay. You're going to have to get going. 15 seconds. I want to say the only educated guess I have is Ohio State in 2007. When was Georgetown? Uh, Five seconds. Two. Okay. I thought Ohio State was a one seed. You got to hang up the Pretty call sure. now, PFT. Okay, got to hang up. Bye. Okay. I think it's Georgetown. He – yeah, let's go. That was her gut, right? You want to go with your boy, go with your boy. No, I, I think since we both had gut feelings about Georgetown. Five. We Georgetown. can overrule Jake. Georgetown University. Final answer. God damn it. So this was a year Kansas lost, it's right? It's 2000, 2011 or 2012. Ohio beat Georgetown that year for sure. Uh, Northern Illinois beat it. The, the ones I have written down on the bracket is Michigan State, UNI, or Ohio State, because Oklahoma State hasn't made one in the last decade. So it's your pick between Michigan State, Ohio State, or – no, you and I didn't make it either. It's Michigan State or Ohio State. It's one of the two. I need an answer. I, I, Clem in. 2011. Rico, oh, tell, me, you, you tell me, Rico. Three, Rico. 12. Ohio State. Ohio State made it in 12. Ohio State. Ohio, Ohio, State. Ohio, State. Ohio, State. Ohio State. It was Michigan State. Oh, <laughs> I would have felt so bad. That was that would have been huge. That was the year North Alley for Bokmanesh. Yeah, I knew that. That's why I, I literally wrote. I literally have the fucking bracket written down. Michigan State. It was a wacky final. It was a wacky regional. Ohio State got got knocked out early too, if I recall correctly. Fuck. Needed that. Uh, <laughs> just let Jake know. That's all I'm texting. Eight to three, to make it eight to four. Here's your bracket. Who made the final four this year from this region? Syracuse never made it as a one. Uh, mm -hmm. The year is escaping me. Don't need the year. Just need who made it. The year would be helpful, Rico. <laughs> Please focus on the year. Ten seconds. Sure they do would give us the year. I'm Rico. My first two blush was uh, Ohio State and Wisconsin. So I, uh, yeah, uh, and you didn't answer Rico or Clem it's, it, five. Clem, it's Ohio State. We fucked Ohio up. Ohio State. I think it's Ohio State. Ohio State, final answer. It is Ohio State, 2012. 2012. That is correct. Yeah, four. You're still Sorry. alive. 
You are still alive. <clears throat> there are seven points remaining. You're very yeah, echoey right now. You sound like, you sound like the voice of God. God. Now that it is very echoey. echoey. I don't like that. Eric Hold on. We're, we're plugging in headphones. I don't like that it's echoey. Now batting. Is Mike the audience Piazza. still there? <laughs> is the who? The audience. Are they still there? Audience, give a little cheer. Yay! That sounded like a stock audience sound effect. You know, it's, it sounded like um, talk soup. Uh, Jake just updated that was Draymond Green to Corey Lucius. Now he remembers. Correct. So, over eight, over Maryland. Yeah, straight, well, okay, ready? Here we go. Yep. Next category is going to be spelling bee. Spelling bee. You're going to get what it is, and you're going to get the definition. All right. Here we go. Spelling bee. Here's your word. Brandon and PFT, you're going to be spelling. It's a noun. It means idle, gossip, or chit chat. You're going to be spelling bavardage. And somebody bavardage. Bavardage. Uh, origin. That you get only what's on the screen. Use it in a sentence. You get only what's on the screen, and you you're, say the word. you're just wasting time now. You say the word again. Bavardage. B a v e r d a g e. I agree. Final answer. Say it one more time. B A V E R B A V E R D A G E. I think you just made that up. I think it's a fake question. Are we? Uh -huh. That's not. You know, we're, we're up. I I I, I, got, I, I, I like the way they spelt it, but Thank Jeff's you. accent of Bavardage makes me think it's D A J, no E. I was thinking J too, the way he was pronouncing it. So B A V E R D A J, like that. Yeah, and then the other alternate would be Bav R Dodge B A V A R D A J, but I don't, I don't like that. Is there a B A H in there? Four. Yeah. Three. Spell it, Clem. Spell it. B A V E R D A J. Oh J J D A J. You guys, you do overthink things on this show a lot. B A V A R D A G E. What are that? We're not there yet. Jeff, we got to start costanzing it and just going against our gut, and we'll be right every single time. I time. said there was. Uh, it's 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 not, not, right. The fact that Jeff has lived in every single state in America really messes me up with his accent sometimes. Next one. God damn. Other side, Team ZD. God damn. Now, hey, I'm going to need, I'm gonna need a moment. Characteristic. Time on, me. Time on me for Brandon. Time on me. Woo! <laughs> Sorry. Oh, damn. <laughs> he just had hot chicken. Brandon's going to need a butthole minute. All right. Nope. We got to focus up. Spell this word. Noun. The dress characteristic of an occupation or occasion. The word is habiliment. 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 H A B. Habiliment. Habiliment. H A B. Habiliment. Habel. E mint. Habelement. H A B Habel. H A B E L. L. That's what I was thinking. Two L's or one? Habel I M E N T. Habelement. I have H A B I L I M E N T. One L. Give me that again, Rico. Can Rico Fly. be our final can Rico be our final guy for this one? Say it again. H A B I L I M E N T. Final answer. Okay, that's correct. Eight to five. Rico, Eight to five. Oh. Rico, the fucking spelling wizard. Give him a little round of applause, everybody. Oh. I, I, I was trying to Eight God. to five. It's it's. This is nowhere. Near, this is what this is what ZD does. They're <laughs> usually down by like five points, and they tighten it up, and it's too little, too late. But you got a chance here because this other team has to double. One of these next two categories. I, we're dealing with medical emergency right now, Jeff. Can That's you just tough give us shit. Brandon should have been. Brandon should have maybe just sat in the chair and played trivia instead of getting up and down all night. Here it is. Next category is the NFL. The NFL of eight to five. Brandon PFT, will you double? Mm. You gonna double it? No. What if WWE's last? Oh, then that wow, wouldn't that be weird? Yeah. Okay. Let's not double. Okay, they're gonna save it just in case WWE is the last category. Brandon and PFT. Here is your question. 30 seconds are on the clock. Great spelling, Rico. 2016 was the last time a player not currently active right now 
led the NFL in receiving touchdowns. What NFC North player did it? Everyone since then is still in the NFL. This person is not. All right, Vikings, okay. Packers, Lions, Bears. Right. So on the Packers, Jordy Nelson. Jordy Nelson sounds right to me. Almost certainly Jordy Nelson, correct? Has Jordy he been? I feel like it was longer ago for Jordy Nelson. Just work through might, the teams. I think that's a good base answer. Okay. Um, the Lions, Calvin Johnson, when did he retire? Way before 2016. I think it's Jordy Nelson. I think you're right. When did Calvin Johnson retire? Before an answer in five, four, three. Jordy two. Nelson, final answer. Does this want to work for me? That is correct. Jordy Nelson, nine to five. You guys must get the remaining points to send this to overtime. Team ZD, here's your question. 2016 was the last time a player not currently active led the NFL in rushing TDs. What AFC East player did it? Hmm. All right. Pats, Dolphins, Jets, um, Bills. Wasn't Forte, right? That's not oh. AFC East. Uh, mm -hmm. All Forte with the Jets, yeah. Yeah, um, Shady, yeah but they suck then. Is Shady McCoy, really? still, is Shady McCoy Steven, still getting checks? He's still getting checks. Yeah, he's on the Chiefs. Steven Ridley? He might have had that one crazy year. LeGarrette Blount. Uh, LeGarrette Blount. Yeah, LeGarrette Blount just retired, retired too. He just retired. That's, I feel like Jeff would do that. That's a Jeff Lowe, a little current events with your question right there. I'd be down if you want to go with LeGarrette. I like that. I like yeah. that. Because I think that was right around the time when LeGarrette came back after the whole Steelers thing, too. Yeah, I, I do like that. Rico, you cool with that? Yeah. LeGarrette Blount, final answer. That is correct. LeGarrette Blunt is 9-6. to six. Here's oh, how this boys. works. This final category is Christmas movies. Christmas oh, movies. It's oh, worth no. two points for They're Brandon no. and PFT. If they get it, the game is over. If they miss it and the other side gets it, you can send it to overtime. Don't look at me like that, Brandon. Go like this. I'm like this. Eddie, do it. Like Eddie, do it. You're going to miss it. Reindeer, reindeer, the whole time. Eddie, the whole time. You need to check yourself a little bit, Brandon. What are you complaining about that? I didn't give you I didn't give you the no, no. last time. Brandon's mad at me. He's mad at me for all sorts of stuff that's not You're so really convinced mad. you were getting WWE today. Club, get the kids in here screaming their face. Like I'm going to go wake him up. Still, here it is, Brandon and PFD. I'm going to show you the picture of a of a character that's not a main character. Oh, he's over here showing paprika. Stop, everyone, stop talking. Everyone's got to stop. Everyone's got to stop. There, this is ridiculous. I'm now they're doing moose words at it. Look where you started, Brandon. Uh, it's a, whenever they're winning, they, that's when they make the most ruckus. <laughs> and they're rattled now. I didn't appreciate Brandon's glance. I think he was mad at me. Here it is. Oh, no, what no. character is this movie from? What Christmas movie is this character from? For the win. Got it. Got it, too. Is that somebody he tried to date an elf? Or, or? Bad Santa? I've never seen Bad Santa. Is it? I just want to note that KB put the headphones on for serious radio thinking you could hear this game on my laptop. <laughs> I need an answer. Five seconds. I'll give you the countdown. That that he likes the elf? No. It's not the chick he likes. Five. Four. I'm going to say Bad Santa two, unless you have another idea. Two. Bad Santa. One. Bad Santa for the win. That's quite the guess. That is correct. It's 11 to 6 final score. That is tragic. And they're in tears. <laughs> I didn't know it bad too. Santa. I wouldn't say tragic. And that was that was educated, tragic. Educated guest, I remembered her. I no, I think that's not a, that's not a knock on you. They knew it. You didn't know it, and you gave an educated like they lost on an educated guest. That's you got it right. That's, that's part of trivia. And it looks like you're going off too. It's the only question I knew all day. What was now? What, what have we gotten? Uh, jingle all the way. Jingle all the way. All the way. Motherfucker. God they would have known it. They would have sent it to overtime. Eleven to seven. Final score. ZD stays winless. It's it's heartbreaking. I mean, tragic. Like, that's let, tragic. A lot of people know it. Like, it's the same thing with the double. We said snaps. They said snapped. And then we didn't get a question in together. Double. It's Look at a, this. The, it's the, almost fucking believable. The ZD fans are already stress eating. They're already <laughs> stress eating. They can't believe it. They just can't believe it. Sorry if I echoed the whole match. Thank you to Pink Whitney for sponsoring. Once again, ZD does what they always do. They. <laughs> <laughs> that was mean, KB. KB said lose. 
Yes, that's true. But also, they come back way too late. You honestly can't make this up. But we've no, done this. Is this it's consistent? Unbelievable. It's unbelievably consistent. I'd like to. I don't um, like. Here's the thing. I hate waiting. Now, can we just run it back next week? Jesse yeah. Seven. Yeah, Absolutely. I'll give you guys another chance next week. That can be your final match of 2020. Yeah, I'd like to. I'd like to apologize to you uh, for getting mad at you for not apologizing to me. So for those who are sticking around, for those who are sticking around, I am, I, I, I kind of want to do like a, like a final four at the end of the year with the Frankettes. I, this is Brandon. PFF is going to hurt. You're not in the final four because you're not top four. Uh, the Frankettes, Yak, Chicklets, and whoever the fourth team is, which I believe how is. Does, Jeff, how does our resume look? Your resume is tough. You we are 0 and 6 we, or 0 and 7. Well, listen, we have a strong strength of schedule. The, the, blind, the blind resume would be obvious which one you are. Actually, uh, your problem is you guys need to lose to a better team. And so if you can like lose to a yak or, or lose to a chicklets, then that actually looks better on your resume. Yeah, Brand, but focus the schedule a little bit. What if we get an auto bid within a shit conference? Put us against like Hubs and Marty and Dana. We win the Stolcon and then we get in. Uh, Jeff, I'd also like to point out that uh, Spin Chicklets should not be eligible. They haven't had enough games. You might the be final four Ed. would be Chicklets, Yak, Frankettes, and then Big Ev, Zahn, Joey. What? Big Ev, Zahn, right Joey? Get over us? You're, be you're, be you're behind Team Smokin'. You're behind Casey Fights and Cons. You're behind it's Large. 55 times. We are so one we put more. Back here. 56 and you're 31 and 25 now. Protected by the commission. Oh, well, That's I, it. I do a final four with fucking Big Ev and them. Just do that. Eddie, uh, do you, Eddie, do you realize how mean the internet is going to be to us after we did a Christmas oh. music draft and Dude, fucking couldn't figure it out? It's bad. It's bad. I, I've been terrible. I need That's to go back. To let's be work. honest. That's that's definitely where you lost. Also, fuck everyone for saying Mistletoe is a bad song. It's number five on the fucking Spotify list. That shit bumps. We'll probably have Brandon and PFT in a Final Four, but it is very fun watching Brandon get mad. Um, that's it, everybody. Thank you for watching. Thank you to Pink Whitney. <sighs> ZD, it's going to happen one day. We'll talk to you next time. No, it's not. Sorry about your butthole, Brandon. <laughs>